A safety network for students is being created in response to a recent spate of attacks on students in District 3. The Ministry of Education first met with the Royal St. Lucia Police Force to solicit their assistance. In the second phase of the creation of this network, the Ministry held a meeting with stakeholders. Dr. Fiona Philip Meyer is the Chief Education Officer in the Ministry of Education. As mentioned last week, we met with the police, a very fruitful meeting, out of which came quite strategic plans to support our students and their well-being. Today we're meeting with the transport services, as well as the police are represented. We have our chief transport officer with us. Principals are there as well, because we want to make sure that everybody works together for the good, not only of our students, for the wider community. School Health Safety Officer Bunez Kodra explained the meeting allowed stakeholders to discuss solutions to maintain the safety of students outside the school grounds. Coming out of our meeting last week, um, we have already seen an increase in the presence of the police on the various bus stops. We have um, devised creative ways with the police in terms of keeping our students safe both on the way to school and from school. So we have several in initiatives that we have already implemented and we are looking to sustain most of those initiatives so that everybody would feel safe whether they are going to school or coming from school. Identifying that the transport sector plays a pertinent role in meeting the school, students will be encouraged to utilize the school shuttle system instead of walking to and from school. The way we do that is by having the school having a, a, a proper plan, um, working with the, the principal, the students, the teachers, as well as the parents. The parents also have a very important part to play, and that is to encourage the, student, the, the children to at least take the, the public bus or at least um, communicate with the, the, the said associations who needs help and who, who doesn't need help. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force has increased patrols at bus stops. Acting Inspector of Police Calixtus Schalmein says, although their resources are limited, they are committed to playing their part in the safety of students. When we um, was invited to the meeting, um, we brainstormed as to the ways that in which that we can assist in um, curbing that situation that is presently on that area of um, Waterworks, less than area. Um, our main um, focus will be traffic patrol. We have also identified um, as to what means that we're going to take up in, in um, patrolling that area. Nina Kodra Eugene, Acting Chief Transport Officer, ensured that the ministry will continue to collaborate with stakeholders to maintain the student safety network. From the Government Information Service, I'm Huma Dimak, reporting.